What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelswall.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna create this really cool dynamic simulation uh, Using uh, bullet physics in Maya 2018 And also this bullet by the way, it, you can find it in uh, previous generations of Maya It will be a little bit different But uh, we're gonna be basically talking how to create this uh, simulation and it's gonna be really fun and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks how to use that and this dynamic simulation you can uh, use the same techniques here to create any kind of dynamic simulation you want like a destruction or anything you can imagine or require like a physics simulation so without further delay let's get started okay so first thing I want to show you guys how to enable this plugin so now if you're like in modeling let's say and you don't see the bullet plugin in here and it should be an under effects but still not showing up and that's because it's uh, gonna be hidden in the plugin manager so it's not basically uh, visible so you go to the plugin manager and then uh, you go here and you scroll down a little bit and then you find here the bullet bundle so you click auto load and load and this way gonna be always uh, show up when you open Maya so then you can close and you can see it here uh, the bullet bundle show up with all the settings that uh, it have so this is always gonna be under effects cool so now let's start building the chain and the wrecking ball okay so let's create the chains let's go polygon torus and then let's go to the settings of the torus and then let's uh, click here subdivisions and make them six that should work for now and then let's go to the vertices then let's push them down here something like that should work and then let's go to the torus setting and then let's make it a little bit thinner okay and then let's scale it down as well from the y-axis so that's good so we have like a chain and then let's go negative 90 here and then let's duplicate it Let's sort it in X, 90 degrees as well. Okay, so you want like a distance between those two guys, just to make sure there's enough distance here, something like that. Let's select both and then Shift D and then let's move it up. Something like that and then let's keep pressing Shift D until we get uh, the chain length that we're looking for. Maybe a little bit more. Something like that. Okay, so let's select everything here and this is all good. Let's create the sphere, polygon sphere. And let's scale it. Let's just put it here. Something like that. So this is the sphere we have. And then let's select those two guys here. And then let's go combine them so go modeling mesh combine okay so now we have this and then let's read the history important just to make sure everything is good and then let's call this the ball here and then let's select the whole group here and then group it and let's call it like chains group so the modeling part is done that's great and then next thing we need to do let's start creating dynamics here so let's select everything let's go to that effects and let's go to bullet active we want to make sure these are active rigid bodies and then let's reset the settings here and usually you're gonna get here uh, the collider shapes box and there's lots of settings here we don't need to worry about the most important one we need to think about is basically the collider shape and that's gonna be representing how these guys gonna be colliding with each other so th since they are like unique shapes and also they have uh, intersection between each other we can't use like a box or sphere or caps and there's no really shape here gonna represent them so the best one is an auto compound so that's gonna be basically automatically calculate this shape and create the collider for them so we select that and click apply and close and now it's gonna do some calculations for it Okay, so it's done. So let's zoom back and then let's press play. So now everything's falling and that's a good sign. That's mean things are working. Let's change the timeline like 400 just to make sure we have enough uh, time. Okay, so that's good. 
I just wanna click on the uh, shape here and then I'm gonna go to the material Lambert and I just wanna darken it or sorry brighten it up so this way we can see it and be different in the background so that's good so now what we need to do is let's select this group and we wanna make sure uh, this ball is gonna be swinging from side to side so to do that we need to have the initial pose like on the side so let's select this group and then press D while we're holding D let's move the pivot to the edge basically matching the uh, edge of this uh, chain okay and then let's rotate it something like that this should work now if we press play everything falls down and that's not what we want so we want everything to be basically pivoting from this uh, chain here so let's take this chain and then let's go here to the settings and you can see here the mass is set to 1 so let's change that to 0 so when we set this to 0 basically we're gonna disable the simulation on it and then you can see then after that everything else uh, is behaving how it should be so now you can see it's pretty light everything is very light and slow but that's okay we can uh, work on that later but now we can know uh, everything is working here and it's nice and you can see the weight actually is taking the chain moving it around when it's need to here so that's pretty cool so there's few things here we can adjust so first let's select uh, everything here and then deselect the sphere and then this mass is really important one we need to uh, adjust so now the mass is one on everything here and we don't want that we want basically the mass of this change to be lighter than the mass of the ball itself so let's change that from 1 to 0 0.2 for example and then let's keep this mass one here and you might not notice much difference but this now is gonna have this uh, ball have much heavier will be the one that is like leading this motion and you know like behaving like uh, in a heavier okay so let's now start creating the cube first let's make sure so this is like the lowest part so let's go create polygon cube and let's scale it up maybe something like that maybe scale it a little bit down let's push this guy all the way so we don't need to see it anymore and then let's just duplicate this cube around like this way just make a little bit gap and shift D maybe like this is enough move it this way and then let's duplicate these cubes down like that maybe three and then one more duplicate it to this side and then shift D Maybe for now this is uh, enough. Already we have pretty good amount of cubes. Let's group them. Then let's press play and then see how is this uh, simulation gonna work. So now it's hitting the top part. So that's mean we can move them higher. So let's move it up more. I'm just trying now to pose uh, these cubes to correctly so this ball can actually hit them so this is good now it's hitting in a good place so now let's create a polygonal plane and this is basically going to be the ground so let's push it down let's make sure it's touching we don't want it to be intersecting like this way so let's push it down a little bit okay so that's good let's scale it now let me scale it this way so we have more room for the dynamics okay so let's hide the grid we don't need to see it anymore and then let's select uh, all these cubes except the ground let's go to the bullet and then let's go to the active rigid body make sure it's set to box and then apply and close okay so now if we press play the cube is falling down that's a good sign so now let's select the ground and let's create a uh, passive rigid body let's reset the settings box is fine apply and close okay so that's good so now the cube's set on the ground 
and the sphere is going and hits them and basically like uh, you can see it barely like moves them it's pretty strong wall we have here okay so what's going on now so why the sphere is not really moving anything here uh, correctly so we need to select these cubes and we need to look at the mass so this now these cubes have a mass of one and this exactly the same mass of the sphere itself so these are pretty heavy so now we need to make them really light we want to make them actually lighter than this chain so if you look at the chains here they are 0.2 so we want to make sure they are really lighter so let's select them all and then let's make them 0.1 for example and then let's press play okay so now we can see there's more damage but uh, still it's pretty weak it's not bad you can see things are falling it's a little bit slow because uh, I'm recording while I'm uh, playing this so it's not gonna be real time but it's pretty slow so one thing we can do now is before we do any more changes is basically let's speed up the simulation so let's click on this bullet solver and here you can see the gravity we can enhance the gravity here to make it uh, faster so the more we make things heavier here we can make things faster but we don't want to keep changing the weight for every individual thing here we already established the weight for the chain and we already established the weight for the wrecking ball and then the weight for this cube so we don't need to ch keep changing that we can change the gravity in general so this is gonna enhance the speed while maintaining everything relatively the same so let's change that from uh, negative 9 to negative 90 let's press play and see what happens okay so you can see everything faster but uh, everything breaks also because the uh, strength of the chain is not enough to hold the weight okay so of course it's all relative so let's select this bullet uh, solver again and there is something here very important we need to adjust before we keep adjusting the settings it's basically uh, this uh, internal fixed frame rate and that's basically you can think about it as the quality of the solver now it's set to 60 hertz we can change that to 240 let's press play and see what happens so you can see it's much better already without changing anything else in our simulation already enhanced like all this breaking uh, went away because the quality of the solver now is higher so it calculates more accurate okay so now you can see it's still weak the the ball is not really strong enough so let's adjust this uh, setting so how we do that we can go to these cubes again and make them even lighter so let's go 0 0.001 because you can go to any lower number we just want to make these guys really light comparing to the ball itself so now let's press play and you can see now really destroys them really destroys everything yeah so so that's pretty good so now let's also do some uh, some tweaks sometimes uh, this chain might break also so th this settings here linear damping is a one way to enhance the strength of the chain so let's change that to 0 0.2 and this is also gonna slow uh, the reaction a little bit but it's gonna give you pretty good result nonetheless so you can see it's pretty good and you can see uh, the chain is not as much uh, as swinging like before it's actually gets more like heavier so that's good but uh, maybe 0 0.2 is actually a little bit too much so let's select everything again except that last chain and let's change it to 0 0.1 Okay, maybe 0 0.1 is uh, it's not enough because there's a little bit too much swinging so let's select everything and then 
So 0 0.2 was a little bit too much, 0 0.1 is not enough, so basically 0 0.15, let's go like halfway. Okay, this is better. Okay, so you can see now it's swinging. And when you play this in real time, it's gonna be uh, faster. And there's another thing we can adjust always is basically this friction. So this friction also gonna speed up the simulation because now there is some friction going on while that uh, this chain is swinging. So if we put it to zero, this is gonna even speed up the animation even more. Just because it's not gonna have any friction. So you can see how you can have uh, really flexibility with this plugin. You can do pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's put the friction back to one. And then we can always adjust the same settings in here on the cube itself. So now we have friction here one. If you make it zero, it's gonna make it even uh, lighter when it gets hit. So let's see. So you can see like some of the cubes they fly like super. But you can see here things just start sliding because there is no friction. So it's kinda you get this very weird almost like inception type effect where things start to move very bizarre and you could do that this is just one thing i wanted to show you guys but just we can put it back to one just to make things uh, more realistic to the real world we're living in and you can see here so it hits and then things gonna react physically accurate on the ground and between each other so this is basically how you do the simulation using the bullet uh, physics engine. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish a new video. Feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.